So I've listened to a couple of live versions from um, those Amoeba in-store gigs. What I found is one from The Voice UK. No one's recommending me this, but I've had a quick check in the middle of it, and it looks like she's singing live, as you'd expect on that show. Before Tom and Will make their decision, here comes an artist who's become one of the planet's hottest female vocalists. It's Lana Del Rey! I'm guessing this is 2012, 2013. Otherwise she'd do something more recent, surely. So great. I'll tell you why at the end. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Ladies and gentlemen, the sensational Lana Del Rey. First of all, there's a bit in the middle that I want to listen to again, so we'll go back to that in a sec. Um, that was so great. The reason that's so great to me is the context. Now, the voice to me sucks. I, you know, I don't like the X Factor either, but it was actually quite fun. Even though it's quite mean, there was there was something quite fun about that back in the day. The voice, from what I saw when it came out, was so good-natured. It was so relentlessly like BBC and positive and let's not be mean to anyone. And that's obviously a good thing in the abstract. But for telly, it was a bit like, right, let's praise everyone. And everyone's like overly emoting and trying to do their best voice, you know. But it wasn't... Obviously, there were some talented people on there. But from the ones I saw, it was a lot of people really going over the top. Because obviously the judges can't see you, so you've really got to impress them with your voice. There is no way in a million years any contestant would have ever sung like that, because it was all over the place in in the best possible way. 
She didn't start slow and build and do a key change and do some extemporising over the end. She just sang an amazingly cool song in a variety of different voices and styles, and it was very seamless. I think some of her performances that I've seen where she is a tiny bit nervous, you maybe couldn't say it was seamless, maybe it was more unpredictable, but this one just flowed, but it wasn't normal. No one on The Voice would ever sing like that, and I feel like it's so out of place. I think, I think in that context you realise just how great she is, just how unlike anything else she was at the time, how unlike anything else she is now. You just put her in the context of mainstream Saturday night, BBC telly, and it's like she's been dropped in from another planet. So impressive, so impressive. All right, so here's the bit from the middle of Blue Jeans. It's not the biggest moment, and I'm not quite sure what to say about it, but let's just listen. It was something about starting off in a kind of, in a mid-range, I guess that's what you might call it, a very plaintive kind of wailing sound. And then I think she either went low and then really high, or high and then low. It was just a nice example of, in about 10 seconds, her using three different kinds of voices, and it flowing very, very nicely. That one. Love, I love that. Wherever she is there, I love that in the middle. Right down, and then we back up high. Seamless, absolutely seamless. Let's do that again. Amazing. Oh. That might be the 15 seconds that to me sums up what an amazing live vocalist she is. What a star. Thank you for watching this. I do like random live performances like that, so do recommend me any more. Sometimes if I'm just going to react to one song, I'll try and throw in another song at the end. So it's always good to have a list of that. So again, give me any suggestions for this era, random live performances, demos, anything like that. Thanks for watching. Full concert reaction next weekend. That's from 2013. Thanks. Bye. Like at the start, I thought, oh, okay, this will be like a black and white romantic kissing kind of video. A bit like Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. But it's kind of like Wicked Game by Chris Isaac if Chris Isaac had loads of tattoos and then stuck his fingers in um, Helena Christensen's mouth. I think it was her. I watched that video quite a lot as a teenager.